today he was hanging out with me, and we got a couple of photos of him at the green screen. All right, let's take a look at what's going on here. We do have a advisor in effect for pretty much the immediate shore line here. It's going to be generally those towns at the shore, those barrier islands, and then those towns right on the bay. So think about it at Seekin or Pleasantville. That's in effect from p.m. until 1 a.m. on and it's all because of this storm that will bring some rainfall flooding, a little bit of tidal flooding to Ocean County, but the biggest concern would be the wind damage in those shore areas as we go into Wednesday, especially during the afternoon and evening. Our satellite radar loop, thunderstorms actually near Houston, but it's going to be this area that eventually makes its way our way as we go into our And it's going to be about an 8 to 10 hour period soaking rain with strong wind. Well, let's take a look at our future cap. This is 30 p.m. Temperatures right around 40 degrees, a mainly clear sky. We go into your Wednesday. Here comes a little strip of snow that tries to get into inland Ocean County. It's possible that Jackson sees some flurries with this or anywhere in Ocean can see a sprinkle. But the main activity doesn't come until midday here. This is noon. Now we have every here. We'll take you to 2.30, it's now a heavier rain, temperatures rising through the 40s, and we have a soaking rain as we go into the rest of the afternoon and into that commute here. Temperatures are gonna rise. Notice at 9 p.m., we're in the 50s here, so the warmest part of the evening. That's also when we have our potential for thunderstorms. Could be our fourth time this year with a rumble of thunder. And then overnight, this is midnight, that back edge getting out of here. I think 2 a.m., we're temperatures falling as into the uh, afternoon hours here, actually on our Thursday. We should actually be around 40 degrees by sunset on Thursday here. Here's a look at our fall totals through 8 a.m. on Thursday, an inch to an inch and a half for many of us. Uh, anywhere three quarters of an inch to an inch in places like Millville or downtown. Here. Our wind main story at the shore. These are just winds to 35 miles an hour. Mind you, we're going to get close to that in spots as we go into our evening. Even inland areas, it's a short wind, but I think the damaging winds would be a little short if we saw any. So you want to make sure you charge your devices, take in any loose objects as we go into Wednesday evening just to protect winds. Winds come from the south, excuse me, the northwest as we go into our Thursday here. Do weekend. It'll be a breezy day Thursday, but it's not going to be as strong as what we will be as we go into our Wednesday evening. With the gusts, I've been showing this graphic a couple Wind's about a half mile up. Not all that big in the grand scheme of things when it comes to the atmosphere. 70, 75 miles an hour. These are the we could see if we get a thunderstorm here. We have to get the thunderstorm first. We're not going to see this if we don't get a thunderstorm. Gus would be then just be 40 miles an hour at the shore. If you're looking for the snow, you got to look north, all the way north into Taylor Hamland, pretty much northwest of Interstate 287. Up to five inches of snow will be likely in Sussex County. I think somewhere we'll get up to five over there. None for us. Here's a look at the night. Around 30 degrees everywhere. We'll take you to your bus stop forecast for your Wednesday. Still going to be dry. It's just going to be cloudy here. Temperatures rising through the 30s. And over at the shore, it's going to be the same story as well. For your Wednesday, we're talking about high temperatures around 50 degrees. Rain moves in between just about noon or so. And then it's a heavier rain as we go later into the afternoon. Wednesday night, the warmest, wettest, and windiest time of the day here. By 5 a.m., we're pretty much mainly clear Look at our inland seven day. So we're talking about 42 as we go into your Friday here. Saturday, 51. So it's actually a mild weekend. Sunday, likely dry, looking likely dry for the Eagles game as they take on the 49th at 3 o'clock. As long as it's dry, it's a pretty comfortable day. Flip on over to the shore seven days. Shut down there. It's pretty much the same story. Temperature is generally at or above average. Something excessively above average, though. And then we get a Closer to uh, seasonal levels as we go into Monday. 